In this video, I'm sharing five text animations that are quick, easy, and perfect for any project. I'll walk you through how to create them step by step. So, stick around until the end to learn how to save them as presets so you can use them anytime. All right, let's dive into the first effect, the scale up effect. A simple yet powerful animation that makes your text grow dynamically, perfect for intros or emphasizing key points. To start, create a new timeline. Right click in the media pool, select Create New Timeline, and a window pops up. Name it. Use Project Settings to modify the resolution. In the settings, set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and adjust the frame rate to 24 frames per second. Once that's done, hit Create. Next, drag a Text Plots node from the Effects Library into the timeline. Double click on the text layer. To replace the default text, I'm using my channel name here. Then choose your font. I'm using Babus Noi and adjust the text size until it looks balanced on the screen. Now switch to the Fusion tab. This is where the animation magic happens. With the text selected, right-click on the toolbar and choose Follower. In the Modifier tab, find the Delay setting and change it to 2. This controls how much time passes between each letter's animation. Change the order to left to right so the animation flows smoothly across the text in sequence. Next, go to the Transition tab. At frame 24, which is exactly one second, set keyframes for both the X and Y values. Then go back to frame 0 and set the X and Y values to 0. Open the Spline Editor to refine the motion. Enable the template curve at the top to select all keyframes and press S to smooth the motion. To further adjust the flow, press Ctrl plus T to open the ease controls, lock the keys, and tweak the curve for a polished dynamic effect. If the delay feels too slow, Return to the Modifier tab and reduce it to 1 for a faster animation. To add a cinematic touch, place a transition node after the template node. At frame 0, reduce the size to 0.8 and add a keyframe. At frame 24, increase the size to 1.25. And at frame 49, clicking the small reset point to reset it back to 1. Back in the Spline Editor, select all keyframes again, press S to smooth them, and adjust the locked easing curve to make the animation feel more dynamic. Play it back to see the results. Finally, add motion blur for professional touch. Press Ctrl plus space, search for motion blur, and drag it after the transition node. Play the final animation, and there you have it. Next up is the fade effect. This is a classic animation that makes your text appear smoothly on the screen. I'll be using the same text style, Transition Effect and Motion Blur as before to keep everything consistent. Let's jump right in. Right-click on the toolbar and choose Follower. In the Modifier tab, find the Delay setting and change it to 1. Now go to the Shading tab. At frame 0, decrease the opacity value to 0 and set a keyframe. Then move to frame 24, 1 second, and set the opacity value to 1. Open the Spline Editor, press Coral Plus A to select all keyframes, and press S to smooth the motion. This will give the fade effect a more polished, natural flow. To make the text stand out even more, go to the Tools tab under Shading and select Element 2. Check Enable to add a stroke. Change the color to white and check Outside Only to keep it clean. Adjust the thickness to your liking. Now, go to the Modify tab and select Element 2. At frame 0, set the opacity to 0 and add a keyframe. Then, move to frame 12 and reset the opacity value to 1. This will make the stroke fade in alongside the text. Back in the Spline Editor, uncheck the first opacity keyframe, press Coral plus A to select all keyframes, right-click, and choose Ease In and Out Cubic. This will smooth out the stroke animation and make it feel more dynamic. Now, let's move on to the snappy effect. This animation gives your text a dynamic, bouncy feel, perfect for adding energy to your videos. Right-click on the toolbar and choose Follower. In the Modifier tab, go to the Shading tab. At frame 0, add a keyframe in the Position section. You'll see Path 1. Ignore it. Double-click on Follower 1 to focus on it. Then, move to frame 24 and add another keyframe in the position section. 
Now, go back to frame 0 and decrease the Y value in the position section. Don't forget to set the delay to 1 in the timing tab. Next, go to the Tools tab. At frame 24, add a keyframe in the tracking section. Then, go back to frame 0 and decrease the tracking value. This will add an extra layer of motion to the animation. For more impact, in the Modifier tab, double-click on Follower 1 and go to the Shading tab. At frame 0, set the Opacity value to 0 and add a keyframe. Then, move to frame 10 and reset the Opacity value to 1. This will make the text fade in smoothly as it snaps into place. Open the Spline Editor, select all keyframes, right-click, and choose Ease and Out Cubic. This will smooth out the motion and give the animation a polished, professional look. Next up is the blur effect. This animation adds a smooth, cinematic blur to your text, making it feel dynamic and professional. Right-click on the toolbar and choose Follower. In the Modifier tab, find the Delay setting and change it to 1 to speed up the animation. This time, we'll also change the order to Completely Random. This will make the letters animate in a more dynamic, unpredictable way. Now, go to the Shading tab and find the Softness setting. At frame 24, one second, add keyframes for both the X and Y values. Then, go back to frame 0 and increase both values to create the blur effect. This will make the text start blurred and then come into focus. Open the Spline Editor. Press Ctrl plus A to select all keyframes and press S to smooth the motion. Then, press Ctrl plus T to open the ease controls, lock the keys, and increase the value to make the animation feel more dynamic. For a more professional look, go back to the Modifier tab. At frame 0, set the opacity value to 0 and add a keyframe. Then, move to frame 5 and reset the opacity value to 1. This will make the text fade in smoothly as it comes into focus. Open the Spline Editor again, but this time make sure to only select the opacity keyframes. Press S to smooth them out, giving the fade effect a more polished, natural flow. Play the animation to see the final result. Finally, let's create the flicker effect. This animation gives your text a flickering, glitchy appearance perfect for adding a dramatic or edgy vibe to your videos. Right-click on the toolbar and choose Follower. In the Modifier tab, find the Delay setting and change it to 1 to speed up the animation. This time, we'll set the order to 1 by 1. This will make the letters flicker in sequence, creating a dynamic effect. Now, go to the Shading tab. At frame 0, set the Opacity value to 0 and add a keyframe. Then, move to frame 5 and reset the opacity value to 1. This will make the text fade in. Next, at frame 10, set the opacity back to 0. And at frame 15, reset it to 1 again. This creates the flickering effect. Open the Spline Editor, select all keyframes and press S to smooth the motion. And increase the value to make the animation feel more polished and dynamic. Play the animation to see the final result. If you're still here, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. It really helps me create more videos like this. Now, let me show you how to save these text animations so you can reuse them anytime. Go to the Media Pool, click on the three dots in the top right corner, and enable Show Power Bin. Double click on Master to create a new bin. Name it something like Text Animations or whatever you prefer. Select all the text effects you've created in this project and drag them into the bin. Now, these effects will be available in any project you work on in the future. Thanks for watching.